And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Gabriel Jesus really getting stuck in. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Alexander Zinchenko in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. Well, courage has to be part of every keeper's makeup. Well, it's so easy to commit a foul there, but he's got that absolutely right. Well, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Jesus. De Bruyne. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Wilfried Zaha. Connor Gallagher. Now Christian Benteke. Fernandinho for once saw his pass devoured. And he's broken free. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Anderson. Kuyase now. Benteke. James MacArthur. Effective challenge. City move it forward with purpose. Oh, a vital interception. Corner it is to City. Maybe an opportunity for them to extend their lead. It's a short one. Ruben Diaz. Palace regaining possession. Torres. A chance to whip it in. He'll try his luck here. And using his body to good effect. Sterling. An authoritative challenge. Are you? Now Christian Benteke. Could be troublesome. Pulls it back. And offside by a very small margin. Well, half-time coming up shortly. City with the lead here. Stuart, how about your thoughts on what they've put into the game? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, potential danger. De Bruyne. Sterling. Fernandinho, oh, a superb save. Now, how about the short corner? 
Teammates in the middle. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? They take it short. And with the goalkeeper. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, Gabriel Jesus. So the ball moving again, and work to do for Crystal Palace in this second half. Wilfried Zaha. Given away by City. Oh, big chance! Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. Well, those stats tell you everything. Their build-up play, the movement of the front players, the energy levels have all been good. But the finishing has let them down badly. They should be out of sight by now. Sterling. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Wilfried Zaha. Oh, this is looking promising. Well then there to tidy up. A creative look about this. He has time to play it over. He's got to score! And he's got to score to level it again! So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Ferran Torres. Now he must favour the cross. Gabriel Jesus. Here's Bernardo Silva. Alexander Zinchenko. Rodri. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Bernardo Silva. Tremendous block. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And a poor pass it was. No getting away from it. Throw in here. Are you? Connor Gallagher. Kuyate. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Benteke. Kuyate now. The ball with Jordan, are you? Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. They've got it now, what can they do? How can they nudge in front late on here? But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They need to get bodies back. Must score! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters.
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Five minutes to go. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Not a good pass. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. They're really pressing their opponents. Given away by City. Well, there's the final whistle, and Manchester City have come out on top in this game. Your verdict? Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. And it's no accident that the cameras are zooming in, as they often do, on Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.